Hello world. I want to talk to you about shoutouts. Shoutouts are a great way to promote other streamers you value, appreciate, or want to thank. When someone helps you out, raids you, gifts you 9,000 subscriptions to your channel, or sends that person stalking you and naked picture of their own parents as a message, you might feel like saying thank you isn't enough and want to show them love in other ways. Sure, it would be cool to take them out to dinner and a movie, maybe cuddle a bit. But I tried that before and the six foot tall, beautifully bearded man, he wasn't thrilled about it. He kept saying things like, how did you get in my house? Why are you in my bed? Is that cheesesteak? I'm sure we've all been there before. So I feel like the best and most professional way to show them support, respect and appreciation is to promote them to your community as do a lot of other people, which is why shoutout commands have been around for quite a few years. Obviously, someone else tried the cheese take surprise and, uh, well, they thought this was a better route. Back in the Stone Age when stream elements came about and we were first able to set custom commands, the shoutout command was a hit, allowing people to tell all the other people to follow or check out whomever they felt like promoting. But let's face it, it's 1998 and we've come a long way. So I wanna give you a much cooler, more personal shout out tool you can use to promote the people you appreciate. Using StreamerBot, OBS, and a lot of hard work and love from one VRF lad, link to their channel in the description below, we're gonna set up a shout out action that will both put out a personal thank you message in your chat, as well as display a recent clip of their stream on your screen. Once we get all of that set up, I will also show you how to set that up so it will work with your rate alert. So if you want to have it automatically shout out the person rating you, you'll be able to do that. Sound cool? F yeah, it does. Let's get started. First thing we want to do, as per usual, is set up our OBS side of things. So we're going to open up OBS and create a new scene and call it Shoutout Nest. Once we have the shoutout nest created, add a browser source and name that source exclamation point SO pull vid. I will put that text on screen right now. You can also see it in the video, obviously. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and click OK. That's actually it for the OBS side of things. So. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun. No, I'm kidding. Now we're going to go into the streamer bot side of things, and this is going to be much, much harder. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> in the description below, you'll find a command string you can copy and paste, much like the other videos I've done with C Sharp in them. And that'll take care of all of the hard stuff. So just go to the description and triple click that string. It'll highlight all of it, copy that, and then inside of streamer bot at the top, click the import button and uh, paste that string you just copied into that top box. Once you do that, just stare at the screen in awe for about 10 seconds. Once you're sufficiently impressed, go ahead and click OK. This should add in two actions. You will have both the failed shoutout action and the video shoutout. The failed shoutout action is just a message that will display in your chat if a user is not a streamer or they don't have any clips. It's just in case, fail safe, fallback, whatever you want to call it. The video shout out is a whole mess of things that do all of the heavy lifting for this. Thank you, VRF lad. And uh, all you need to do is go in and change a few things. First, make sure that your scene and source names match those in the set global sub actions at the top. If you followed what I said in the beginning, they should. Or you can change the name of your scene and source inside of OBS and then change the names in the set global sub actions to match whatever you have in OBS. Don't touch the shout out file set global action or you will break this. That is the site that it pulls all of the user's clips from. So without that, it will play nothing. There will be no clips. You will have no cookies. Nobody will care. Okay, cool. The set argument clips within days sub action is how far back it will pull a video from the users you shout out. You may change this to however many days you would like, but I would suggest keeping it something recent. You can set it to 
two years ago if you want, so that when somebody comes in, it plays an ancient clip from earlier times, just to get a laugh out of them. I used to, and it was always really fun to see people's reactions when it played a clip from when they first started streaming. It also can be very awkward, so it's it's nice to pull recent clips. Yeah, or make it cute and awkward. Choice is yours. The power is yours. Captain Planet? Anyway, moving on. The last thing you would want to adjust is the Twitch message. This is what will show up in your chat as the text shout out. It is currently set up for me, so I would go in there and change the message. Leave everything in between percent signs alone as that is what will trigger the message, show their name, and uh, you know, whatever game they were playing. You can delete the game part, I guess, if you want. That's just, you know, whatever they have the category in OBS or whatever their streaming service is set to, that's what that'll display. You get it, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm talking about. I'm elaborating on something simple way too much. You, you know what's up, you know what the deal is. You're smart, I know you are. Now, with all of that done and configured the way you want it, you just have to set up the trigger. If you already have a shout out command set up inside of StreamerBot for your stream, you can use that trigger for this as well and just take whatever shout out message you already have copy that text and then paste it into the text box that you just edited for this, the shout out message text. If you paste your shout out message you already have into there, leaving the stuff in percent signs alone, like I said, it will display your current shout out message when this triggers. Uh, just go in and disable the shout out message you already have. Otherwise, it's going to trigger two shout out messages in your chat. And you might not want that. If you do, cool. Do you. Have it play five of them. It's whatever. Do your thing. Otherwise, if you don't already have a shout out command, we can set one up right now. Go to the triggers section, right click and hover over commands and then click command triggered and then click the create command button and that's where you'll set up your new command. Name it whatever makes sense to you. Set the commands to whatever makes sense to you. The names don't really matter. The shoutout commands can be named anything from exclamation point SO, exclamation point shoutout, exclamation point just go with it, exclamation point tickle me Elmo. You know what I'm saying, whatever. You can change the location between exact start or anywhere. It doesn't matter however you want it to be. If you've never set up a command before in StreamerBot, start is whatever your command is has to be at the beginning of a message anywhere. Your command trigger can be anywhere in the chat message and exact means it has to be just that command. So if you get it, I'm not even going to explain further than that. You know what I'm saying? All right. And then set the permissions to moderators. So only, you know, yourself and your channel moderators will be able to shout people out. Otherwise, this can get abused. It will get abused. Disable the ignore bot if you use one and click OK. That's it. We're done. Video shout out set up now. Goodbye. But wait, there's more. So you want to know how to make this automatically trigger when someone raids you, right? Cool. Duplicate your video shout out action that you just made and then change the part that says copy in the duplicate name. Make it say raid. So it'll say video shout out raid instead of video shout out copy. So that way you know which is which in case you ever want to adjust one. In the sub actions box for the raid version, right click, go to Twitch, hover over user and click get user info for target. Change the source type to user and click OK. Now drag that sub action up to where the add target info from input sub action is. Delete the add target info from input. You're replacing the from input with from user. You get it. You know what I'm saying. And then in the triggers box at the top, 
delete the command trigger that you just set up and right click, go to Twitch, hover over raid and then select raid. <laughs> now, whenever someone raids you, it'll automatically trigger the shout out message in your chat and the video shout out on your screen. Mic drop. Yeah, I have to say mic drop because mine's mine's it's mounted and you know, even if it wasn't, I'm not crazy enough to drop this microphone. So yeah, I love this thing. I've got like, I have a lot of microphones and I can't see myself swapping out from this beacon mic. I mean, I have XLR mics. Yeah, never mind. Humble brag. I love the beacon mic. It's amazing. If you found this video helpful, please like it. If you have any questions or want to request a future tutorial on something, please leave a comment below. If you are a fan of StreamerBot, learning stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a great deal to me. Like seriously, it, it really, I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for all of your support. Trying to hit 4,000 subs this year for science, for science. <laughs> yeah. If you want to congratulate yourself, go stand in front of a mirror and tell yourself you're awesome because well, you are. Thank you all very much for watching. And if you ever feel like hanging out with me and the wonderful community, please drop by a Twitch stream. I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Central. We would be happy to have you and welcome you into our community. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe. Hope to see you in the next video.